Hello, fellow hunters of the blue, and welcome to my channel, and also welcome to another sculpting video. And this sculpting video will be showing you how to make really easy and cool scales. So, let's get cracking. As you can see, we need to start from a very flat surface. Let's apply your green stuff over whatever you want to sculpt this texture and flatten it as best as possible. You can use a flat tool like this, or you can use a rubber a rubber shaper like this but the key is having this as smooth as possible and for a first step i'm going to take my trusty and ancient citadel sculpting tool and i'm going to start doing diagonal lines uh, in one direction i'm going to start for example in this direction Remember to always use water on your tools while you're doing this. Key here is keeping your lines as parallel as possible. So it's here. You can just do it by eye and try to leave the same spacing between lines. You can also see I'm not running my tool like this, that's a recipe for disaster. I'm just pressing it and lifting off. If you do this, you will pull all your putty with the tool, creating a mess. And next, I'm going to press with my tool flatten in this direction. I'm just going to press over that line, like so, creating like a triangle, like a slope on one of those ends. I'm gently pressing a bit against the line, just like that. And I will just refine this a bit more until all my surfaces are flat. You can even press. I want this to be as clean as possible. For example, you can see this line is really not clean. This is a bit of a mess. Well, I will clean it now. Just like that. Just like that, this looks, whoops, <laughs> this looks much better. The lines are crisp and defined. And now I'm just going to do the same lines, but in the opposite direction. like that and we now have our scales more or less defined and again as I did before I am going to press in this direction a bit creating that same slope I did for the previous line in the opposite direction this will in fact destroy part of our work but we need that slope that will increase our 3D look and we will later on redefine those lower parts. And now what we need to do is redefine 
all those lines that we have messed up. And what I do is take my same tool and I will just apply it and press into both directions, redefining the 3D look. See in what direction I'm pressing. I'm pressing like this and like this into the bottom of each scale just a tiny bit like so that lifts off the end of the scale creating a very deep 3d look How it's deepening the 3D effect really easily. We have now all our scales defined and the 3D effect is quite intense, but now we need to create a V shape onto the top of each scale. And for this I'm going to again take the same tool and I'm going to press the putty on each scale towards the center, just like that. Can you tell the difference? It makes a huge difference. And I will just keep doing this. This is probably the hardest part. And it's harder the smaller you go with the scales, of course. So be patient. And you might need to go afterwards and redefine this ridge again. The more you redefine and refine your sculpt, the better it would look. Just like that. You can uh, you can see that ridge in the middle makes a huge difference. And now it's just a matter of going onto each scale and repeating this process, pressing from the outer section into the middle like this and into the point essentially, and then redefining the outer shape a bit. And with that step done, all over our scales, they are finished. And this is a super fun thing to sculpt and it's really simple and you only really need one tool, which is also great. So as always guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do you like my videos and want to help me make them? Well, there are several ways you can do that. You can follow me on social media. You have the links to all my social media in the description below. You can also check out my affiliate links in the pinned comment of this video. Use those links in your next hobby purchase and help me without any additional cost to you. But most importantly, there is Patreon. You have the link to my Patreon in the description below and in the pinned comment of the video. Patreon helps me do all the cool projects that I want to make and helps me improve the quality of my videos. For example, I recently bought a new microphone that you are hearing now and a brand new mirrorless camera that I'm now using to record my videos, all thanks to my patrons. Don't be afraid, no content will ever be hidden behind a paywall, but it's a nice way to help me and you will get something back for your generosity. As I said guys, thank you very much for watching. And a special thank you to Ben Morin, Gerald Moore, Karen Murfail, Victor Domin, Michael Boyer, Charles Armitage, Christoph Moret, Daniel Figueiredo, Joshua Bohannan, Ryan Mann, Oliver Pellert, Bell Drain, Kevin Sulars, Kittlenad, Nad Lindemann, Jonathan Ekelund, Dr. V, G Force, Elric Ketch, Shasha Park, JT Butler, Manuel Vilela, Joe Simpson, Dominic Trevizo, Richard Kwiatkowski, Shini, Brett Sillinger, Mark Jarvis, Table Minchers and Gary Smith for being the coolest persons in the planet. Be like these fine folks, join my Patreon.
and take control.